way. I didn't know I can do that. Why the other one is still on? <laughs> huh. This is the first time I've seen it. Yeah. I see. Oh. That was pretty random. Does it matter though? Not really. Ah. <gasps> What's going on? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, I feel like I'm close to something, but it's not happening for me. This is the last like location. I have a clue to talk with Ash, but besides that, I can't believe this. I've done everything. Are you okay? Be careful. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, we don't know much about the clock tower. I can. More info on Albert. And it stopped 12 years ago. Yeah. It's a circle. <laughs> no, he's not here. <sighs> I'm screwed. <laughs> I honestly did what was there available. Maybe I just missed some stuff in the first and the second day. Can't come back. Can't do nothing about it. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Supervisor Halcyon. Identification code confirmed. This public trial will commence shortly. Okay. In this trial, only myself and the supervisors have the authority to make statements, along with the Mr. Tazaki and the witness, who have been granted permission to do so. What witness? Albert Rumford died on December 17th at his home in the research district. Time of death presumed to be 7.55. Cause of death assumed to be murder. Allow me to give an overview of the incident, based on the evidence brought to light. According to the scan of the body that was discovered, the cause of death was a puncture wound from a roughly 23 centimeter long blade. The murder weapon has not been recovered. The corpse was discovered in the laboratory at 9, on December 17th. It vanished shortly after. The lab access registry indicates that Keith Tazaki was the only individual to enter the lab after midnight on December 17. There is no evidence the access registry has been tampered with. Albert's body was later recovered in the secret underground room. The room was accessible via the bedroom, 
and the lab. But the entrance was cleverly hidden. Someone with close ties to the professor may well have known about the underground room. Next, let me describe what took place at the scene of the crime on December 17th. Keith Tazaki arrived at Albert's house shortly before 8. The lab door doesn't open until 8 exactly. So he waited by the entrance. However, Mr. Tazaki entered the room as soon as the door opened at 8 and proceeded to stab the professor to death with the knife he'd brought with him. Then, when Miss Simmons arrived, he hid within the house and while she was distracted, moved the corpse to the underground room. I didn't have an opportunity to talk with her. I could not find her. He then placed the body in the biological pod and exited via the bedroom to the hall. He then likely destroyed the access panel to cover his tracks. <laughs> Based on the evidence, this reconstruction has an 82.2% plausibility rating. I mean, if I would not have proofs and stuff, I would believe that. <laughs> the odds that Mr. Tazaki is responsible are overwhelmingly high. For crying out loud. The only reason I'm in the frame is because you guys haven't found anyone else who fits the bill. That sound about right? Whatever. Let's say I did it. What was my motive? We can hypothesize. However, we do not place any value in motive. Who is responsible? How was the crime carried out? These are the crucial questions. Very well. Today, we formally indict Keith Tazaki as a suspect in this murder case. You shall be dealt with in accordance with the laws of the city. Supervisor, we assume you have no objections? I saw it. I know he's not responsible. I need to show proof that someone else is the culprit. Eustace, I've spent every waking hour of the last few days investigating this case. The truth is still out there, buried. Before you indict him, please, just give me a little more time. Supervisor Sion, this is a public trial. A vast number of this city's residents are observing proceedings via augmented dreaming. Your duty is not to fuel their unease and anxiety with theatrics, but to protect and preserve their peaceful slumber. Am I making myself clear? Maybe Eustace doesn't want me unveiling the truth. Oh. Well, Albert kinda led us to the underground lab somehow. Something's different going on as well. <laughs> Ultimately, the citizens will determine whether your claims are truthful. Okay. I think someone else was responsible for the crime. Allow me to explain. Show Justices the truths you are certain. Move log data by touching it with your hand. Data can be submitted after holding it at a specific point for a period of time. Okay, uh, well, it's study, yeah? The professor was conducting research on a specialized humanoid in the secret lab. This humanoid, the marionette, is known as Cestelia. They are the one responsible for his murder. Scanning of the underground lab was completed before the trial began, but we found no trace of this marionette you describe. Formless ghosts don't warrant discussion here in the tribunal. I suppose you can provide us with the evidence to prove the marionette's culpability. Proof that the missing marionette killed the professor. I ought to be able to prove my case with all the evidence I've gathered. Four of the rooms in the professor's house are key to solving this case. The lab, the scene of the crime, the secret underground room, the bedroom with the mysterious puzzle, the hall connecting to the entrance, 
Allow me to explain the irregularities we found in each of those rooms. It's time to unveil the truth we discovered at the heart of this case. With 80% of chance. <laughs> You've got plenty of info in your investigation log. Just explain it all step by step. Thank you for believing in me. Well, we'll just be picking what we had, essentially. Time to rethink things. Oh shit, okay. This isn't the piece of the puzzle I'm looking for. I mean... The body found in the underground room. Tell us what you found there. To rethink things. It's kinda weird. This isn't the piece of the puzzle I'm looking for. Maybe I'm just stupid. The marionette that disappeared from the underground room. No. This doesn't the lab with the hidden door. What does the room have to do with the culprits? Time to rethink things. <laughs> I'm just picking everything wrong. The source of the shriek in the bedroom. You're almost there. There must be some trace of the culprit in here too. The corrupted access panel registry. Five inexplicable points relating to the case. I can prove their existence and culpability with the evidence I submitted. Allow me to go over what happened at the crime scene on the morning of the incident. I would actually glad to know. <laughs> it appears many of the citizens are in agreement with you. Yay. They're expecting you to uncover the truth in your account. Very well. I will permit you to explain the course of events in the reconstruction space. How? Supervisor Sion, you'll now be transferred to a reconstruction based on the details in your investigation work. Oh. You will then reconstruct the particulars of the incident. Proceed with care. You'll only get one chance to win the citizens over. Well, I can come back now. <laughs> Elaine, no need to go freaking him out like that. Don't get so worked up. Just focus on keeping your story straight. That's all there is to it. Initiating crime scene simulation. Let us begin. What about the other proofs? Maybe I didn't need everything? <laughs> 